Hi, and welcome to Kotori Flow. My name is Dana, and today this class is going to be about the water element. The music is by Dear Jade, and I'm very happy to be combining music and the yoga flow together to create a sense for community and the tribe that we probably can't have much in this time. So I'm very happy to, for you to join me here. And let's start moving now. We start on hands and knees. So come at your hands and knees. Tuck your toes and push your seat back to the heels. Walk your hands slightly forward. Make sure your arms are extended, your elbows in the air. And then take your forehead down and start to breathe deeper. Find your ujjayi breath, the sonorous breath, the victorious breath. And on your next inhale, look forward. And as you exhale, extend your legs, push the hips up and back into a downward facing dog. And for today, bring one heel down and bend the opposite leg. So you're stretching the back of the extended leg. And then switch, alternating with the breath. Inhale, one leg straight. And exhale, switch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. A few more times like this, walking on the spot. Warming up the back of the legs and the hips. Make sure the knees are not turning in too much or out. And then come to stillness here. Inhaling forward into a plank position. Exhale, hold it here. You can move gently from side to side with one hand. Maybe you bring your fingertips to the floor. So do a couple of movements like you're a boat rocking the sea. <laughs> then come to your fingertips, lifting the palm of your hand. Keep doing this movement, getting into the mid body here, breathing, and exhale, both of your hands come down, bring the knees down, your chest and your chin, inhaling forward, cobra, point the feet, shoulders back, exhale, tuck your toes, push your seat back, extend your legs, downward dog. On your inhale, walk forward, make small steps. Stop about 10 inches behind the wrists. Bend your knees as much as necessary to bring your hands down flat and then shift a little bit of weight forward so you already feel the arms extending here. Stay there for two. Inhale. Exhale, three. And breathe in. Breathe out, four. Inhale, exhale, five, look forward, walk your feet out to the side of the mat, and then turn the toes out slightly, bend your knees, come into a squatting position, elbows to the insides of the knees, press the palms and lift your chest up. In case your heels lift up here, you could place a blanket below your heels or you could roll up your mat from the front and then support yourself with that. Look straight forward. Now lift the pelvic floor up to find Mula Bandha, the lift of the pelvic floor. You can imagine there's a net based at the base of your spine and you lift the middle part of that net slightly up. Hold it there. Three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Release your hands, shift weight forward, extend the legs, and then heel toe the feet all the way together. Bend your knees and slowly start coming up to stand. One vertebra at a time. And once you're up, roll the shoulders back, release them down, and step to the front of your mat. Bring your palms together in front of your chest, and then take this moment to find an intention palms together in front of your chest and take this moment to find an intention. Release your hands, open your eyes, Samastiti. Inhale, raise your arms up, look to your thumb. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step back, bend your elbows, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, 
Upward facing dog. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Stay there, five breaths. Your hands pressing down, the sit bones lifting up. The spine is elongating. Two, inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five, bend the knee. Inhale, come forward, head up. Exhale, folding. Inhale, lift, arms up, see the thumbs. Exhale, release. A different version, hook your thumbs. Inhale, bring your arms up and arch back. Exhale, bend your knees, swing your arms through. Interlace your hands, extend arms and legs. Inhale, bend the knees. Hands down and step the right foot back into a lunge. Look forward, exhale, step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhaling plank position. Exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga, or low push up. Inhale, pointing the feet, upward dog. Exhale, back, downward dog. Inhaling plank pose. Exhale, bring knees, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale, forward to cobra, point the feet. Exhale, tuck your toes, sit back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Lunge. Exhale, left foot forward. Fold. Inhale, bend knees, hook thumbs, come to stand, straighten legs, arch back. Exhale, reverse in one breath. Inhale, bend knees, hands down, left foot back into a lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling, plank. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, point the feet, upward dog. Exhale, back, downward dog. Inhaling, forward. Exhale, knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, forward, cobra. Look towards the nose. Exhale, tuck your toes, push back, and straighten the legs. Inhale, left foot forward, lunging. Exhale, right foot forward, forward. Inhale, bend the knees, hook thumbs, come to stand, straighten legs, arch. Exhale, release your hands, Tadasana. Inhale, bend the knees for chair, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands down, folding, Uttarasana. Inhale, look forward, now listen. Exhale, bend your knees. Slide your hands underneath the heels and try to hide your arms behind the shins. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, see if you can straighten the legs out more and drop your head down. Stay here for one. Try to bring your forehead towards the shins. Two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Breathe in. Breathe out, five. Release your hands. Hands next to your feet. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or hop back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward into warrior one. Coming up, look to your thumbs. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, left foot forward. Right heel down, coming up. Virabhadrasana. Exhale, hands down, step back and lower. Inhale, pointing the feet. Exhale back, downward dog. Stay here. Breathe in. Breathe out. One. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Breathe in. Breathe out, four. Inhale. Exhale, five, soften the knees, look forward. Inhale, step or hop, lift your head. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, bend the knees for chair. Arms come up, look to your thumb. Exhale, release, Tadasana. Good. Inhale, step one foot back and open to the long side of your mat and parallel your feet for this one. So the midline of your feet is parallel, hands to your waist, lift your chest here and bring your elbows closer together. Exhale, come forward, bring your hands down to the earth. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, walk your hands further back between the feet. If your head is really far away from the floor, you could place a block between the floor and your head, or you open your feet a little bit wider apart. Stay here, try to keep your hands grounded. Top of the head is moving towards the floor. For one, inhale. Exhale two. And if it's too easy for you to bring your head down, you can bring the feet closer together. Three. Four. Exhale five. Inhale, straighten your arms. Look forward. Exhale, walk your hands forward again. Underneath your shoulders. Bring your left hand below your face and then take the right arm up, look towards the sky. Exhale, pin the left hip back in space so you're not moving the hips with you. One, inhale. Exhale, two, inhale. Exhale, three. Take your right hand behind you and find either the left side of your back or maybe the left thigh with your right hand and then rotate the shoulder up a little bit further. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale here, inhale, and exhale, perfect. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, both hands down, switch sides. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, pin the right hip back so you're not moving the hip forward with you in space. And you're focusing on twisting only from the thoracic spine here, the chest area. And three. Bring the left hand back, wrap it around, find whatever you can find there, and then left shoulder up and back. Two, inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, come up, left arm up, exhale, both hands down again. Bring your hands to your waist, strong legs, inhale, lift up, exhale, bend the knees, and bring your feet together at the top of your mat. Okay, inhale, bend the right knee to your chest. Then exhale, bend your standing leg and fold forward so your belly and your thigh are close together. Fold forward until you can bring the left arm onto the left thigh. Your upper body is parallel to the floor and your right knee is bent into the chest. Hold it there. Two. And three. Perfect, inhale, come up again. Right knee into chest, exhale, release. Other side, inhale, left knee to chest, squeeze. Exhale, bend the standing leg. Maybe you need to look a little bit around to find balance. Good, it helps to look so somewhere in front of you, so not on the floor, right in front of you. Bring your right arm to touch the right leg, and then squeeze everything in in center. Hold it there, two. And exhale, three, good. Inhale, come up, left knee to chest. Exhale, release. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Listen, inhale, step your left foot back. And exhale, bring your right shin across the mat. Your right knee is close to your right hand. The shin is right across the mat and the right foot close to your left hip. Now with your pelvis lifted, you can move the hips back until you find a seat with your right hip. If that's not possible, then place something underneath your right hip. Could be a pillow, could be a block, could be a blanket. Come to your finger points, lift your back knee up for a moment, and try to rotate the thigh down towards the floor. Good, your chest is lifting. You shouldn't have any compression in the lower back. If you have any problem or issue in the lower back, you could lean a little bit more forward here to take a little bit of the back bend out. Good, stay, tuck the back, uh, untuck the back toes and then come down into your variation of half pigeon here. Keep breathing. 
If you want to come all the way down to the floor, you can bring your head down, rest it on the back of your hands. And try to keep moving the right hip back and the left hip forward. Deep breath here. Press the top of the left foot down. And bring your hands back and next to the front knee. Tuck your back toes. Inhale, bring your right knee to chest and squeeze. Nose and knee touching. Exhale, extend the right leg back for one breath and open the hip here. So bend the right knee, turn it out. Inhale, extend and close the hips. Bring your hips even. Exhale, place the right foot between your hands. Bring the left knee down. Inhale, reach up with your arms. And exhale, find a variation of a twist here that you want to practice today. Could bring your palms together and lift the chest up. And then extend your back leg or any other arm variation that you know. For two, breathe in. Breathe out, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five. Both hands come down, inhale, exhale, step back, downward dog. Inhale, bring the left foot forward, and exhale, cross the shin on your mat, left knee close to your left hand. Pelvis is still up. Gently move the hips back until you find a seat. So take a seat. Asana means seat, the yogic postures. Tuck the back toes and extend the back leg so you can rotate the thigh down. And then when you're ready, go in. It's always okay to move a little bit around to make space in the body, in the joints, in the muscles to keep them soft. I never want to rush into any of these positions. And once you're in, focus on the inner alignment. Meaning you pull the left hip in, right hip down. And don't make it about waiting around, really use the time here. Bring your hands back next to your front knee and tuck your back toes. On your inhale, left knee to nose, squeeze it in. Exhale, extend back, down dog split. Bend the left knee, turn the knee up. And exhale, extend your leg. Bring your hips into alignment again, even. Inhale, exhale, step the left foot forward. Preparing for standing spinal twist. Bring your arms up, inhale and exhale, twisting here. Find the same arm variation you had before. Tuck your back toes. Whenever you're ready, come in. Paravita Parasha Konasana. Stay here, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Breathe in. Breathe out, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Bring your hands down, inhale here. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forward. Now two options, option one is you walk through and sit down. Option two is bend the knees, jump forward, cross the shins, and then sit down. <laughs> Bring your knees into the chest, inhale. For TB twist, you place the feet on the floor, wrap the left arm around your knees, place your right hand behind you, and then press the right hand down to lift your chest. For one, inhale, exhale two. As a pregnant option, you could open your feet wider so you have space here. Three, breathe in, breathe out four, inhale, Exhale, five. Inhale, center, and exhale, switch. Right arm around the knees, left hand behind you. Use the left arm to find an extension for the spine. And then look over the left shoulder. Two, 
inhale, exhale three, breathe in, breathe out four, inhale, exhale five, in your center, exhale, extend your legs, flex the feet, and you lift your chest, place your hands next to your hips, Dandasana. And exhale, hinging from the waist, you come forward. Imagine you have a, you're a Swiss army knife that's just coming together and then fold forward, good. If your belly and your thighs are not coming anywhere close to each other, you can bend the knees and then wrap your arms around your legs to help yourself here. Then whenever you can reach for the feet, maybe do it. And then optional, walk your feet more forward. Work with the extension of the legs. And still, the focus is the hips, the hip area, hinging in. There's no pulling on the feet, please. So simply place your hands there if they happen to come there. Three more deep breaths. forward, exhale here, inhale, come up, bring your right knee up with you, and then exhale, open the knee to the side, Janu Shasana. turn your torso over your left leg, fold forward here, take a bind if it's available, or place your hands on the shin, maybe you want to create a little stack for your forehead, one, breathe in, breathe out two, Inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five. Inhale, straighten your arms, exhale here, inhale, come up, bring your right knee up with you. Exhale, extend. Good. Inhale, bend the left knee. Exhale, open the knee to the side. Inhale, turn the torso over your right leg and then come forward here. And my knee saying the inhalation and exhalation is basically the, the basic principle of a vinyasa practice. Vinyasa means you join the breath and the movement. So every breath has a coordinated movement to it. Even when you're holding, you're still moving on the inside. So we're going deeper, we're going more into the awareness of it. Three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Inhale. Exhale five. Inhale, look forward, arms straight. Exhale here. Inhale, left knee up. Exhale, extend both of your legs. Inhale, bend the left knee to chest. Exhale, open the knees to the sides for Baddha Konasana. You want to have the outer edges of your feet touching, like your feet are opening like a book. <laughs> so imagine you want to read in the foot book. Sit a little bit closer to your feet, if possible. If that causes any tension in the knees, please sit back again. No, but you want to come as close as it's okay for you now here. And the thighs are rolling out. So you could actually bring your hands to the thighs and then press down so you're rolling them out more. Take your thumbs to the big toe mounts and then open the feet a little bit more. And from here, you bring your chest forward. And imagine you want to bring your chin somewhere in front of your feet towards the floor. No, it doesn't have to come down all the way. It's just the direction of it. Stay here. Three. Breathe in. Breathe out four. Inhale. Exhale five. Inhale, come up again. Exhale here. Inhale, close the knees. Exhale, extend your legs on the floor. Okay, find a way to lie down on your back. And lying down on your back, 
extend your legs. Now, bring one knee to chest, interlace your fingers on the back of the thigh, and extend your legs on the next exhalation. You could stay here, or for Supta Uttita Hasta Brangushtasana, bring your hand, left hand to the left thigh and press it down so you don't want the left thigh to come up. Bend your right knee so you can hold the right big toe or you keep the leg straight and hold the shin. That's a little bit of a different focus there. So if you want to focus more on lengthening the backside of the legs, keep it straight, hold the shin. Or if your hips are the tighter area, maybe go to the toe instead. And then you have the knee bent or you extend the leg and you bring the foot closer towards the floor behind you. Two, inhale. Left foot is flexed. Three. Four. And five. Release. Carefully place the foot down. Both legs extended. Okay. Other side. Bend the left knee in. Interlace your hands behind the thigh. Now you can stay here or you extend the leg. Each of these steps is just adding on to the previous one. So if you feel that one is causing you to have short breath or anything, just go back to one step before. Right foot flex, bring your right hand to the right thigh, press it down gently. Optional, hold the shin, or maybe find the big toe here. And when you bring the hand to the left big toe, you don't want the left hip to come up. So you want the left hip to draw down. Stay here for another three breaths. Breathing in. Breathe out. One. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, release gently. Exhale, place your feet on the floor. Now bend both, both knees again, knees to the side, sole of feet touching, Supta Baddha Konasana. Place one hand on your lower abdomen, one hand on your heart. And connect to your breath for the last few moments here. So notice the air coming in and lifting your chest, the middle and the lower belly. Exhale from the lower belly, middle belly, chest, the air comes out. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. On the exhale, open your mouth and breathe out through the mouth. Release. You can place your hands on the floor. Extend one leg after the other. For a few moments in Shavasana. Shavasana is the practice of letting go. Of surrender. We don't try to control anymore. We give in. Allow the weight of your body to drop.
stretch. Bend both knees into the chest and roll to one side. Pause here for a moment. With your eyes closed. And connect to that free presence in you. Palms touching in front of your chest. Bow your forehead down. Thank you very much practicing with me today. Hope to see you next time here for the Kotori Flow.